if it's Anglo-Saxon, then you're going to have to report it because uh, the town that I live in is actually Anglo-Saxon, but there haven't been any discoveries of Anglo-Saxon activity. It's just um, written uh, down and recorded that there's been Anglo-Saxon activity there. But yeah, guys, some assortment of finds. I'm not too particularly sure what they are, but yeah. A very nice ornate piece of pottery there, as you can see there. It's very nice. Huge, absolutely huge Mesolithic or Neolithic stone tool. Not too particularly sure. Possibly even Paleolithic, but I'm not, not too particularly sure of that. Nice bits of pottery. Some in very nice condition, some fairly worn, like this one. There was a lot more pottery there, but we couldn't be bothered to pick it up after a while. We were just only looking for the flint tools and the um, clay pipes. Nice bit of glass there. From the um, house that was fell into disrepair because of well, the fire from the coal, local coal mine, I believe, which was very, very uh, well, not very far away at all. Actually, it was probably say 500 yards away. Uh, well, the house was originally built before the coal mine, that's why it made it look horrible when it was the coal mine was actually built there. And uh, yeah, guys, actually, we have a nice bit of pottery, actually, it actually has an inscription. On it saying ING 2351 531631. So, uh, yeah, that's quite adequate. Bit of Buttons lying on the surface. And, guys, you have to have good eyes to spot this. Unfortunately, uh, my eyesight's rather good, as well as my father's, obviously. And, uh, yeah, guys, you actually have a bit of volcanic rock. Pumice. You wouldn't find this with a detector. A high frequency uh, machine, anyway. but that's a nice bit of ornate pottery as well. Say 17th to 18th, possibly even 19th century. Maybe possibly even Edwardian some of it, but I'm not too particularly sure. There we are. That's a very nice uh, piece of pottery there. Or a plate. Or something. As you can see, there's just like Mesolithic flint tools everywhere. So I'm definitely going field walking back. And uh, please, guys, comment and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of this um, field walking, and uh, then if you do do so, comment, like, and do so. And then, fortunately, guys, I'll be making for you a. Uh, I'll actually be going out in the field and recording naturalistic field walking and see what I can find, pretty much. Uh, and actually, guys, I have to make an announcement. This is quite unrealistic. This might need to be reported to the uh, finds larson officer because. Um, or the British Museum because on the piece of land I actually found a rather historical bone fragment. I'm not too particularly sure which animal it's from, but I'll have to report that eventually. I actually found that on the field with all the Mesolithic flint tools in the same area. And guys, that's extremely historical. So animals were once grazing there in the Mesolithic period. And guys, actually, there have been uh, 